G'day, quick tip time again. This time I'm going to be showing you how the WebCT Gradebook and Microsoft Excel can play friendly together. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to show you how you can export the grades currently in your Gradebook out to Microsoft Excel. I'll give you a few basic Excel functions which can make life easy. And I'm going to show you how you can then import those results back into the Gradebook if that's appropriate. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. Here I am, I'm in a fairly standard WebCT subject, and one of the great criticisms of the WebCT gradebook is it's quite unwieldy. You often need to scroll left and right, up and down, in order to see your results. However, there's this magic little button just below the gradebook, which reads Export to Spreadsheet. So I click on that. I'm given some choices here. The most important choice is to export visible columns, which is really anything you're able to see or all columns, which would export everything in the gradebook, including any hidden columns. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to go with visible columns. And then I'm going to the bottom and hit export. OK, so what's happening now is it's exported that out to a file called exported course CSV, and it's inviting me to open that up in Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to do that. And here I am. These are exactly the same results, but now in a Microsoft Excel file. And because it's in Excel, I can do everything I would normally expect to be able to do. But I want to show you some nice, quick power features of Excel that make life really easy. One of my very favourite tools in Excel is this Sort and Filter button. If you click on Sort and Filter and choose Filter from the menus there, what happens is against every column, you get this little magic drop-down list. And what it allows you to do then is to decide, for instance, if I want to sort by semester, I'll do sort smallest to largest, what it's doing now is organising those students by their semester enrolment. Or perhaps I'm teaching the LI3 students, and I really only am interested in seeing LI3 students. I could, maybe from the class code column, say, well, look, I don't want to see all of the students, so I'll take that tick away, but I'd rather please just see the LI3 group tick and hit OK. And now you can see that um, all I'm seeing are my students. The other students haven't been deleted, they're still there. And indeed, if you look out subtly over here, it goes 1, 3, 7. There's clearly some other students hidden out of view there. Um, but now that I can see just my students, I might be interested in, I don't know, recording the fact that I've engaged them. ENG. And that's good. And in fact, all of my students came to the first class. I did a group activity with them and they're all engaged. So I want to give them all ENG. Here's another quick tip. If you put your cursor over the bottom right corner of that little box, it goes to crosshairs. And I can now drag out and copy that all the way down. And so there you go, I did it really quickly, recorded in Jage for all of my students. So now I'd like to get these results back into WebCT, please. First thing I should do is to save my changes. So I'm going to save that. And it will ask us where to save it. Um, I'm going to save this to the desktop for, for now. And it's important that it is this .csv file. Make sure that that says CSV there and save. OK, so I've made some changes. I want to get those back into WebCT now. So I'm going to flick back over to the gradebook. Here I am here. And I'm going to do the reverse of before. Now I'm going to import from spreadsheet. So I click on this. And I select my file. There it is there. And say upload. Now, basically, this screen is just showing you which things it's going to import and not import. And it won't, for instance, change last names or first names. And that's a good thing. That's what those crosses mean. But everything else is OK. So I hit Import and OK. And now, indeed, if I go across to um, this side here, there are those... Oops, I, I jumped a little bit far. There are those engaged results that I've recorded not into the gradebook, but into Excel and then uploaded subsequently. So I hope that's a useful tip for you.